The Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning, VCAL. There are a range of learning pathways for VCE and VCAL, as can be seen on the graph present at the moment. Generally, VCAL enables students to progress on to further study or straight into the workforce. It doesn't usually mean they can gain entry directly into university as with VCE. However, that option is not ruled out either. The Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning VCAL is a hands option for students in years 11 and 12. Like the Victorian Certificate of Education VCE, the VCAL is a recognised senior secondary qualification. Unlike the VCE, which is widely used by students as a direct pathway to university, the VCAL focuses on hands-on learning, however does not rule out students progressing to university after completing further study post VCAL. Students who do the VCAL are more likely to be interested in going on to training at TAFE, doing an apprenticeship, or getting a job after completing Year 12. However, it is important to note they are not just limited to this. There are four compulsory strands in VCAL in Victoria. These are literacy and numeracy skills, work-related skills, industry-specific skills, and personal development skills. The levels of VCAL. So VCAL has three levels of entry and completion. There is a foundation level, which students learn under close supervision with high levels of direction. Intermediate level, which learning is reasonably autonomous in regard to planning and work activities, but conducted under supervision. And senior level, where learning is autonomous in regard to planning and work activities, but conducted under supervision. Students will generally complete one VCAL level per year. And for example, if they start at foundation level in year 11, then they'll progress into intermediate level in year 12. Or if they start an intermediate level in year 11, they'll progress into senior level in year 12, provided they meet all the requirements of those levels. VCAL at Damascus College in 2020 requires students to successfully complete the following. Literacy skills units, numeracy skills units, work-related skills units, industry skills units, personal development skills units, healthy living skills units, undertaking or completion of a VET course or a school-based apprenticeship, undertaking SWL placements, which is two per year during the course of the VCAL program or an SBAT, religious education, and satisfying the minimum attendance requirements as with VCE. This is an example of a VCAL 2020 timetable. So as you can see, Wednesdays are left for structured workplace learning or school-based apprenticeship placements, meaning there are no classes delivered on Wednesdays, which allows students to be out in the workforce on those days. And Tuesday and Thursday afternoons, there is time made available for students to either be attending their VET course or attending the Healthy Living class. Some of the key notes, vocational education and training, is a compulsory aspect of the VCAL certificate at intermediate and senior levels statewide and at all levels at Damascus College. VET is discussed in further detail in the VET presentation. Structured workplace learning, SWL is on the job training, which a student is expected to master a set of skills or competencies related to their VET program or career preference. It occurs one day per week for the school year on Wednesdays two different work placements for the year with 180 hours in total. So what VCAL is not at Damascus College? It's not an easy way to get through school. It's not a place to put students that will not get a good ATAR score and it's not a place for the class clowns. Why would you choose VCAL at Damascus College? It is a viable educational option to enable students to progress into their desired pathway or pathways for the future. Students have the opportunity to develop their learning experience both at an academic and practical level based on project-based learning. Project-based learning at Damascus College, some examples. So there is the VCAL camp, which is a three-day camp that is proposed, planned, organised and conducted and evaluated by the students. Students complete the bookings, manage the budget, organise the activities, conduct the activities, organise and cook meals and a range of other components involved with camp planning. The VCAL coffee van, so students completed a detailed research and proposal process to then purchase a second-hand coffee van. 
The students now operate the van on a weekly basis in order to pay off the money borrowed for the van, gaining a range of experience in managing a business. When applying for VCAL, students need to complete the VCAL application form that is available on the college website and return to the Applied Learning Coordinator. When making decisions about VCAL, think about the past and the future, research the options, speak to your teachers, career advisor, personnel in universities and TAFEs, people working in the industry of your interest, and be concerned about your future. Don't choose subjects or courses or careers based on what your friends are doing or what you think will be easy.